Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, big thanks to those of you who've been um, liking my videos recently and particularly those who've left such nice comments, um, particularly on the last couple of videos. People always leave nice, or generally leave nice comments and uh, I did ask for some feedback about continuing doing empties and uh, I got lots of positive comments about that. I really do appreciate uh, when people kind of join in the dialogue and uh, it feels like we're having a conversation and I really do appreciate those of you who um, bother to watch my videos and uh, then share what you've enjoyed. Um, it feels really nice so thanks for that. Um, second thing really it's Friday and normally if I upload on Friday I try to do a fragrance um, video and I have still got some fragrances to talk about, but honestly, I'm so behind on the holiday collections at the moment that I thought today I would talk about Guerlain. Uh, and the reason for that is that I finally managed to pick up the um, palette, which has been a lot slower in the UK to hit the shops. And I believe is coming in in quite small numbers, if I was being told the truth, in Selfridges when I picked this one up. The meteorites and the other um, items from the collection have been in for some weeks now. And I've had the meteorites for a couple of weeks. Uh, but I was holding off talking about the collection until I got the palette as well. Because I knew that I definitely wanted to get that if I possibly could. So... Um, First thing to say about Guerlain, particularly the holiday collections, is I do think they are beautifully packaged. I always look forward to seeing what the design will be for Christmas. And as you can see with these two items, it's definitely a real kind of art deco uh, look. This is almost um, featuring the design they did on their bronzer, which I only showed a few videos back. It was actually a terracotta that should have been out in the summer, but was quite late over here um, with the kind of arches. Um, and then, you know, a very kind of retro look. It made me think immediately of some of the other collections, the Victoria Beckham um, Morning Aura. You know, those could go side by side on your dressing table and uh, would both look vintage. And, of course, another one fond of that kind of packaging has been for a long time is Charlotte Tilbury, the um, palette we talked about recently. Again, very much the Art Deco look seems to be the look of the moment. And I'm not surprised. I do like it. Um, so let's talk about the meteorites first of all because I can definitely tell you what I think about them because I have been using them for a couple of weeks as I say now. First thing to notice, the pot is getting ever smaller. <laughs> um, if you remember the snow globe from last year, now of course a lot of it's just plastic um, but the packaging definitely looking smaller. More importantly, how much is in there? Uh, 20 grams in this of um, powder. I haven't even looked, 30 grams last year in Snow Globe. So a full 10 gram difference. Um, in one sense, it doesn't really bother me at all because I have, uh, <laughs> I collect these. I've got any number. I'm never going to use them up. So um, it's not the end of the world that there isn't as much. But uh, in terms of value for money, obviously it does have an impact. They have gone back to giving you a little velvet poof as opposed to the sponge um, which had come in in recent ones. So I do like that because I do think the bit of sponge looks extremely cheap and, you know, it's not exactly expensive for them to give you a little velveteen puff. Um, the pearls themselves, as you'd expect with the packaging, are um, gold, uh, a, a kind of warm gold, a bronze, and rather nicely the kind of silver as well, um, so that if you don't like warm um, finishing powders you're going to get a mix here uh, on your brush they're not particularly glittery um, I would say demonstrably less glittery and more matte than um, last year's of course which were much more kind of neutral toned but a definite glitter in the snowball um, now a lot of people have said uh, and I fully agree and understand that the smallness of the pot and um, 
well, more the smallness of the, the diameter of the pot means it's very difficult to get your brush to manipulate them and particularly to pick up the different colours without knocking um, some of the balls out of the, the pot, which is annoying, um, particularly when you're in a hurry first thing in the morning. Uh, I use a very um, soft Shiseido brush for these. I tend to use my meteorites essentially as a finishing powder around the T-zone and a little brushed on the cheeks. I'm not using them as a highlight. I do that separately. Um, so it doesn't bother me that I can only use a small brush. But I know some people like to use a large flush, fluffy brush and uh, I understand that. And it's really hard in this pot. I almost think you'd have to decant your pearls to use it that way. So... There are def definite disadvantages um, apart from the fact you're getting so much less for the same amount of money in this smaller size and packaging. Although I do have to say I do like the packaging. I just think it looks really pretty. <laughs> and a lot of us, you know, are buying these to collect. Also in this holiday collection, um, a very nice powder, uh, a compact uh I'm not really sure whether it's a bronzer or a highlighter because um, for me personally, it's definitely too gold, too pigmented to use as a highlighter. And that's saying something um, because I like a fairly blingy highlighter, but uh, I'm not sure it would be deep enough for most people to use to contour. Um, it is very pretty. I didn't get it. And there is um, a beautiful, vibrant red lipstick, uh, beautifully packaged again. Uh, again, I didn't need another lipstick. So a small collection, and I'd say this is the star of the piece. This is the Palette Gold, and it's supposedly a multi-use palette for face, eyes, brows, and lips. Um, beautiful packaging again. It's slightly difficult to get in. Um, here we go. Let's just use that so we don't get a flashback. So you can get a good look into the palette then. First thing you're going to see, um, it's not showing brilliantly there. This blush here has a great deal of gold in it. I'd say it's almost like the powder format of Tom Ford's Pink Sand, but less pigmented. If you um, have Pink Sand, you'll know that, you know, that is a pretty, pretty pink cream blush but with definite gold in it. So you're almost blushing and highlighting at the same time. Uh, and then a much um, paler blush here. These two um, colours up here, they say you can use for your brows, um, but also obviously for a basic eye look. Then the other um, four shadows, very definitely blingy. There's a lot of shimmer and glitter in there, uh, which is not to say they aren't gorgeous. I did a very quick eye look last night. I only bought this palette yesterday, um, just uh, filling in the eyes with these and using a bit of this kind of um, bronzy uh, glitter, uh, a very full on, uh, even with that amount of product. Now, um, with it in the mirror comes um, an instruction that you can kind of use these uh, products all over. Um, I'm not sure I'd be using them on the lips, for example. But let's uh, have a look at the shadows, first of all. Um, here's the beautiful quality to slightly more um, classic colours, shall we say. You can see they're reasonably pigmented, and they recommend you can use those on the eyebrows, and they're pretty much matte. Then we go into a full, full-on, um, warm, bright, almost orangey gold, tangerine gold. Um, I think it probably will look nice on blue eyes. haven't tried it yet. With, again, these are all beautiful consistency. Look at that bronze. That is superbly bronzy gold. Um pigmented it's almost like a foil on the eye although it's a powder and then the last two all six of these feel fantastic as you swatch them very soft buttery soft and foily so definite highlighter here 
this I suppose is the kind of rosy bronzy gold that I wore last night um, I applied with a very soft brush and it was pretty intense these are definite party looks but wow what party looks they are um, really really pretty and then um, finally the two blushes this light pink is probably my least favourite down here. I mean, I'm very, very pale and it doesn't show brilliantly on me. And then there's what I describe as the pink sand. I think this is a beautiful blush, um, a real peachy pink, but it has definite glitter flecks in it. So if you don't like glitter um, and you're not very pale, I don't think either of these blushes are really going to work for you. I mean, you could use this, I guess, as a shadow as well um but the eyeshadows are just stunning i think um but it's a definite party palette i think although you have got these two um more neutral colors that you can wear for a kind of neutral eye you'd soon be using those up beautiful quality um buttery soft uh i've only as i say worn for a night uh last night and they lasted perfectly well I hadn't put on a primer in fact um, but it wasn't you know wearing for a full day so I do think it's a really beautiful palette can I even remember how much I paid for it I think it's um I think it's 44 pounds so it's not cheap but um it's good value compared with say a Tom Ford eye palette uh, and I would definitely compare the quality of the eye shadows to a Tom Ford palette. Um, and of course they do have this kind of glitter that he's fond of as well. Um, 16 grams of product. So uh, yeah, I would actually say if 44 pounds is ever good value for makeup, this is actually a good value um, palette. Uh, and you need to get your hands on it pretty swiftly because Selfridges said they'd only been delivered five. Um, and you know, they have a major girl I encounter there I don't know how it is in the other stores um so I thought that palette was a bit of a departure from um past holiday palettes I just pulled out um was that last year's or the year before I get them muddled up but you know here's two of them they went in for these for a number of years uh again very classy packaging with eyeshadows on top and then um some blushes underneath and the blushes were always really difficult to use in these palettes because they're so tiny you can see I've barely touched that one um so I think Guerlain have always done a good job with holiday palettes here's I think this is the year before last the original one and they've always tended to like these um quite intense warm golds uh, but they've definitely got their glitter on this year and I do think they've um, outdone themselves uh, with this palette gold. And uh, if you're in the market for a party palette, I do recommend this one. So uh, until next time, and Chanel is coming any day now, uh, I wish you well and uh, see you soon. Bye for now.